don't know. I said I'd knock over at seven. The cheek of it is not even going to knock for you. Probably ruin his image or something. <laughs> so do you reckon I'll take this to town for a drink? Um, I don't know. I'm not too fussy on pubs. Probably go to the pictures then. Well, he'll be wanting to see a biker movie then. I know. He thinks he's Marlon Brando. Could be worse. He could think he was Marlon Brando's son. <laughs> he is a bit of a I love me who do love merchant, don't you think? Well, you must see something in him. Oh, what? Apart from the fact that he's dead handsome and he's a dead good laugh and he's got these gorgeous baby blue eyes. Um, no, not much. Tell you what. He won't be taking you anywhere on that bike of his for a while. I know. I don't even think it's got an engine in it. You'd probably get more life out of that fruit machine they've got on their path. <laughs> I think it's just there for him to sit on looking cool. Mm. He doesn't have to try too hard, though, does he? Oh, you're not kidding. So, what's this Owen lad going to think of it all, anyway? What? Well, he's not going to be too pleased when he finds out, is he? Yeah, well, he's not going to find out, though, is he? Well, won't he be wanting to see you tonight? He thinks I'm sick in bed, sweating the flu out. And you'll be in the back row of the pictures with John Travolta. So, a needle pulling thread. What? Mm, sound of music, my mum's favourite film. You've got a weird sense of humour, you woolies, haven't you? Well, you have to support in Oldham. I mean, it's not like round here when he cups every other week. Oh, you're not into football, are you? Too right. I spent half my life at Boundary Park. I know every blade of plastic on that pitch. Really? I mean, my dad's tried to get us to go and watch our Jeff play a chummy, but well, I'm not bothered. They're going to watch him play tonight, actually. I miss my team more than anything, even if they are stuck in the second division. I'm amazed what you're seeing it. I used to go with my boyfriend. Oh, I get it. I doubt it. Ooh, getting all mean and moody, are we? No. Anyway, you stop changing the subjects and tell me about this Owen lad. And what do you want to know? Well, what's this Mike got that he hasn't? Nothing. I mean, Owen's really good looking in that, but he's just a bit serious sometimes. And you prefer a comedian? No. I just prefer something that wasn't so. so forever. Yeah. I suppose so. Anyway, look, what about you? Me? Well, you can't pine for you, will you left behind forever, you know? See the only one you like since you moved in? No way. The only man I've got any time for has got the mind of an 18 month old baby. What? Because he is an 18-month-old baby. Oh, so there's no chance? No, I'm afraid not. I think I'll leave romance till I'm a bit more settled in. Well, give us a shout when you're ready, and I might fix it up with Ellen. You're terrible, you. The poor lad's not even cold in his grave. Besides, I don't buy shop soil goods. Only one careful owner. Yeah, pass us another biscuit, will you? I'm sure you've got enough of these. Oh, I've had a craving for these ever since I left home. My mum always had them in and I never bothered. Since I've come here, I love them. I got these this morning off next door's van. Oh, the mad van? Yeah. It's really handy, that. I got loads of stuff. It's a bit minchy, the fall of making you buy your own biscuits, isn't it? No, it's not like that. It's just that the only ones they get are them trendy carob things that take about an hour to eat. And no good for dipping in your tea? Mm. I don't think needs a colour supplement enough for them. This house is like something of the Cosmopolitan, isn't it? That's Patricia mainly. She's dead into interior design. I'd love a place like this, then. I'd just love to be able to afford it all. Oh, well, one day, eh, when you run your own nanny's agency. No, oh, I and Latix win the European Cup. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, Dad. How was it today? Horrible. I ate it. Don't worry, son. He'll be all right. I think you've earned this, love. Oh, char, love. I don't know what I've earned it, but I know I need it. Good day. Yeah, it's average like every other day, you know. Well, it's Friday now. I have still got to go out tomorrow morning, yeah? Yeah, but at least we can have a few drinks down the Legion tonight. Maybe we should stay in and brew our own ale. You are? Well, we could make some moonshine with all this veg I'm stuck with. Don't chalk soft. Well, then, it's either throw it on the skip or give it to the neighbours before it goes off. I won't be able to flog it next week. That's if you can find any room on the skip. I think everyone in the street slung something in there. 
Maybe we should start charging, <laughs> eh? Oh, hi, oh you're gorgeous. Give us a seat, eh? Oh, no chance. I don't want me bike, right? Oh. How did you do in the gala? Oh, second in the back, so kind of won the butterfly. Hey, gear more medals with a medal piece. Oh, we won the relay as well. It's just as well you're a good swimmer, cos you wouldn't get any medals for tidying your bedroom up. Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing. But it looks like a bomb's hit it. And you and the other two head cases have got half your rubbish spread out across the landing. My stuff's not rubbish, and I like it like that. Well, I don't. And rubbish or not, if that stuff on the landing's not cleared up today, it goes in the skip. And if your bedroom isn't tidied, this bike goes in the Mersey Mart. All right. God, don't I get to save what my own room's like? I sleep in it, you know? Yeah. But me and your father pay for it, so I get a bigger say. God, I don't believe you. Sometimes that one's got a bit too much to say for herself. I get old, girl, eh? Hey, this is the old you. <laughs> I'm sorry, love, but it must put years on you living with a Mona like me. Oh, I'm a pensioner before me time. I know what you mean. I'll be 65 myself before I get this shop lark sorted out. Oh, come on. We said we weren't going to talk about that until we were properly settled in. Ah, fair enough, Dee, but it's hard, you know. I'm driving round in that thing all day. Park for hours on end at the bottom of tower blocks in the middle of council estates. And all I'm thinking of is I want a shop. A proper shop, not a stupid van. I want bricks and mortar and a window full of little postcards with adverts on. It'll come. Hey, as a famous window cleaner once said, even marks and sparks have to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Pat. Hello. You've been shopping? We were going to put a bid in for them. Oh, really? I didn't realise the close had a designated market day. What? Oh, this lot, you mean? No, I'm just doing my stock take, look. Trying to sort out what's got to be slung in that, you know. I see. Hey, just a minute, love. Do you eat carrots? Well... Here, you might as well have these. Our lot won't touch them. That's very kind, but... No, they go to waste. No, really. Here, you have them. They're good for a few days yet. I think she's going to land one on him. Why doesn't she just take them off him? Because they only buy design of edgy, don't they? Do you reckon she's taking out on him because these kids are coming? Too right. It's like I said, he's been making plans left, right and centre. She's just had a face on her all week. I know, but it must be really weird for her. I mean, two strange kids calling him Dad. What do you reckon they call her? Auntie Patricia? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Here she comes and she's got the veg. We just won't take no for an answer. Hi, yeah. Hello, Samantha. Have I been attacked by a mad fruit and veg man? <laughs> no, not recently. Oh, Margaret, would you put those carrots in the bin? I'm exhausted. Seems a waste. Not to me. Um, what time are the children getting here? Oh, well, your guess is as good as mine. When the indulgent fathers run out of things to buy them, I suppose. Well, will they be eating here? I certainly hope so. I was summoned to buy about 100 of their favourite snacks from Marks & Spencer's food department this afternoon. Well, I'll sort all that out for you if you want. Well, you don't have to do that. It's OK. Sammy can give us an hand. Oh, thanks a million, girls. I don't suppose... A cup of coffee? Coming up. Oh, and one more thing while it's still fresh in my mind. What's that? Well, Max and I are agreed on this. We don't want to get involved with their little retail outlet next door, i.e. trade sanctions. No Dixon products to cross the Farnham line under any circumstances. <laughs> we might end up in their Christmas club. <laughs> All right, sir. All right. Just been doing a bit of business. Just been buying a paper. Uh, you know, I said I was organising another one of their mere parties. Yeah. And you know, said I was going to make five times as much. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was wrong, sir. Oh? I think it could be near the ten. Big wow. Yeah, well, it could be. I mean, if you still want in on. I'm sick of you winding me up. It's 20 grand. Sound like a wind-up, Terry. See you later. <laughs> you all right, son? Is she his bag? Where? On the bike. Excuse me. Miss Donnelly. Can I have a quick word? Sorry, do I know you? Mick Johnson. Leo's dad. I just picked him up. Oh. Marie Donnelly. Leo's form teacher. Pleased to meet you. And you. I met your wife when Leo joined us. Oh, Josie. Yeah, uh, well, I was hoping you could tell me what's going on with my son. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Well, he went to school Monday morning, full of the joys of spring. 
But since then, he's been coming home miserable every day. Have you asked Leo what's bothering him? Well, of course I have, but he just clams up on us. He was particularly lively during the first few days. And what about later on? I suppose he did quieten down. Well, at least he stopped answering the other kids' questions. How do you mean? He was calling out the answers to virtually every question I asked the class. You've got a very bright boy on your hands. Yeah, and a very unhappy one. I appreciate that, Mr. Johnson. But I've taught very few children who come to a new school without some teething problems. Well, maybe this isn't just teething problems. We're talking about a little black kid here. The school has a very good record in that area, Mr. Johnson. I'm sure the problem isn't a racial one. But perhaps we should ask Leo that himself. Leo, I told you to wait in the cab. Your dad's very worried about you, Leo. I think you should tell him what's the matter, don't you? Yeah. People have been calling your name, son? Yeah. What sort of names, Leo? So call them my professor. What? And they put their hands on me head and said my brain was coming out. Do you know why, son? Is it because you got all the questions right in class, Leo? Yeah. So you mean? It looks like some of the less gifted children are suffering from a touch of jealousy. <sighs> I hate champ. What am I going to do with you, eh? Tommy O'Grady, where do you think you're going? Eh, nowhere. Nowhere, Mrs. Dixon. I thought so. I'm not going to even ask, Anthony. Ask what? How? Why? When? You mean the boat? Sounds, in it? It better disappear before the police get round here. Oh, we haven't robbed it, Mum, honest. Now we found it. It was this year's, so we decided to use it. Three biffs in a boat. Lose it. Ah, can't we have a game of table fussy face, Ma? Go on. Sad? Abandoned ship. I couldn't hear you. Well, I'm not surprised. I thought you weren't going to give us any more open-air concerts. Oh, I've made a comeback. Well, you make a comeback as a human being and do something with that room. What, like? How about fumigation? Oh, all right. If you don't, I will. Have you seen the table you are? Not in this lifetime, no. And remember, there's plenty of space in that skip for all the rubbish in that room. All right. Listen to that racket. Never mind that racket, Sally. I'm too interested in my own racket, aren't I? Emptying warehouses everywhere and the money you're going to make. So what do you want us to do? Well, there's loads to be getting on with. Sorting out the bouncers, making those sure the security's all right, all of that. Oh, Sam, just give us a shout when you need us. Yeah, and we're going to need the cab as well. I mean, we've got a lot of tickets out everywhere, haven't we? How far out of town are we going? I don't know, 25, 30 miles, something like that. Oh, that's going to be millions there. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? When do you want me money? Uh, well, not right now. I mean, I've got to sort out the PA and the rig and all that. I could give Mick a shout, couldn't I? Oh, wait, Sally, come on, we don't want everyone involved in this. Well, he's all right, Mick, isn't he? I mean, we are using our cab. Oh, well, all right, then, just Mick. 
But I mean, he gets some of yours here. He doesn't get any of mine, all right? OK. And you don't call 24 hours a day? No problem. Right, we're in business, mate. Yeah. All right? Yeah. God, Elvis lives. <laughs> Max will go spare. Sammy's going out with him tonight. Well, surely she can do better for herself than that. Well, he's quite handsome, really. Oh, if you say so. Junk, junk, junk. Max, Oxfam. Oh, remind me to put something in that later, will you? Yeah, sure. Oh, great, thanks. All we need now are the kids. Hmm, hopefully not already stuffed with burgers. He wouldn't, would he? Eh? Oh, he would, all right. Electricity, the occupier. Hmm. Suppose that's me. What do you think I should do with these profiteroles? Do you think I should put them in the fridge? I think the cream will run. Oh, ooh, the cheek. What's that? Oh, this. <laughs> it's a bill for £1,044.55 pence from the bailiffs. The bailiffs? Yeah, for debts outstanding to a catalogue company. Well, that's nothing to do with you. Oh, well, it is if, as stated here, they pay us a visit and try and repossess £1,044.55 worth of our furniture. But they can't do that. I don't think I want to have to try and find out. Who do you reckon owes the money? The guy that last lived here? Well, who else? Hmm. Would seem the respectable Dr Michael Toy had a better reason for leaving here than just going to a new job. Cos knows what string of debts he's left behind him. Do you reckon he was some sort of con man? I don't know, but he certainly tried to have a tidy little spending spree at our expense. Hey, are you hiding from me? Uh, you could say that. I take it we're not retiring to the Bahamas this week, then. <laughs> the amount I have made this week is an insult to the word profit. We're all right, aren't we? Ah, yeah, we're all right. So you're going to treat me to a shandy on your ill-gotten gains after all, what? I might do. That's more like it. Ah, oh, we're all right, Dee, but who wants to be just all right? Do me for now. You're not still fretting about that shop, are you? Ah, uh, duh. And the move. To be honest with you, Dee, I'm knackered. Well, it's a very tiring thing, moving. We're all knackered. Hey, you don't sound it. Well, you just have to take me word for it, won't you? It's just... So much worry and a messing. And for what? In a nice new house, in a nice new close. All this to live next door to Max Farnham, mate. Eh? Oh, yeah. And you'd rather be back living next door to that potter, Denny Kelly, would you? At least he wouldn't have minded having me van in his drive. Well, he'd probably be too stoned to notice. And anyway, none of us had drives, remember? OK, OK, you win. Since when did you give up on an argument that easy? Since I got sick of estate agent commissions and surveyors' fees and solicitors' letters and all the other vultures chucking in at my expense. That's all over and done with. Oh, come on. Let's enjoy it. Starting now. I'm telling you, someone's robbed it. I've checked everywhere. Are you sure? It got moved into the back garden. That was the last time anyone saw it. I've searched those down. Do you reckon it's someone around here? I don't know. We'll have to organise surveillance. How can they just pick up a massive big table footy game and walk away with it? Because nobody'd think we're mad enough to rob it, would they? Is there anyone around here who looks like a robber? Only that fella over there with the stripy jumper and the swag bag. Where? Tiffy. You want to speak for yourself? All right, Jackie. What are you like? Come and have a sit in the boat. <laughs> no thanks. I'd rather drown. Hey, have you seen anyone dodgy hanging around? You mean apart from you three? You're funny, aren't you? I've had my table fussy robbed. Who were? Your dad said you can't find that garden gear he brought <gasps> either. That'll have been nicked and all. We're going to set a trap for the robber. Do you want to know? Oh, do one, Benno. You couldn't catch the mumps. And where do you rob that boat from? How can you rob something that isn't anyone's to rob? Well, I'm sure you find a way. Ooh, go and play with your dolls, will you, Jackie? Oh, go and play with yourself, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's me? Yeah. All you need now is a full set of leathers. I was thinking of getting a moped for work, you know. What? You mean one of them egg whisks? Oh, you're as bad as me dad. He calls them a hairdryer. But at least they go. Hey, just wait till this thing's fixed up. We can cruise the streets. Who's we? Well, me and whoever's lucky enough. Oh, yeah, that's if the bike can take the weight of your head. So where are we headed tonight, then? Um, nowhere until you get changed. I already have. This is a clean T-shirt. <laughs> oh, and is that jacket welded to your back? And who says I've got anything to get dressed up for anyway? Oh, fine. I'll just go home then. 
Pub or pictures? Pictures, pubs bore me. Anything good on? Don't know, let's wait and see. I like taking a chance. Fine by me. Um, how's school today? Oh, it's just a pile of grey breeze blocks. Why? Not, and I just wondered how it was these days. Well, it suits me. It just means I don't have to go out and get myself a job. Yeah, well, some of us need the money, like. Anyway, I've got 500 girls in school who'd commit suicide <laughs> if I left. Oh, God, you pick a 12 year old, have you? And have you got to pick off? Oh, well, that's for me to know and you to find out, isn't it? Can I help you, mate? I'll have a word with you, Sammy. Alan, hiya. I want to talk to you. No. Have you got out, Sam? Yeah, it's um, just a mace. I won't be a minute. Hey, I thought you were sick. I was. I mean, I am. I want to... He comes on prescription, then, does he? Don't be stupid. He's just a neighbour. Oh, and you just take them a cup of tea round there in your best gear? Oh, if you're trying to make a show me, you're making a good job. Get over to yours. I'm not arguing the street. I can't. I haven't got time. Well, I have. I win. What's wrong? I've got nothing to hide. Well, what's your problem, mate? Eh? My problem? I'm not the one who's dragged herself off a sickbed to slobber all over the fonds over there. Oh, grab up, will you? I'll talk to you who I want. Oh, will you? And you were really enjoying that little chat, weren't you? God, you bug me. Why have you lied, Sammy? Why not? Because I thought we were going together. Yeah, well, you know what I thought did. Oh, so that's it, eh? Oh, I don't know. What do you think I am a fortune teller? You still need me. Look, will you just go home, please? I want to see Nisha. She told me you got bevied again in Blackpool. Yeah, well, that was just the one time. Oh, was it? Well, what happens when Big Lick's over there wants to take you for a bevy, eh? Well, what's my problem? Well, who'll ring you? Who'll ring you to check you haven't been on the gym? Oh, you make me sick. You still need me. Oh, I need you. Do you want to know why I got drunk in Blackpool, Owen? Because I sat up half the night wondering how to tell you that I wanted to finish with you. Are you happy now? You're a liar. Um, You're lying again, uh, aren't you? Pack it in, lad. Shut it, you, James Dean. Look, will you go home? I think you better do one. I think you better go and wrap yourself round a tree, lad. Shut up! Cracking up and girl, isn't she? Well, you better take a good look. Cos that's all you'll get, lad. I went on holiday with her, and all I came back with was a lousy stick of rock. Oh, I'm not saying she's a fridge. She's just got us a new sea label hanging out of her knickers. And she's got a few more bad habits that you'll have to get used to. I hope you can take your ale, mate. I'll tell you what, I'll get you a nice going-away present, shall I? Look, I'm really sorry about this. Edward! Here you are, Sammy. Get that down your neck. Didn't she tell you, Fonzie? She loves her gin. Join Lloyd Grossman and David Frost in just a moment for another peep through a mystery keyhole.
that's why we're your mates. I knew there was a reason. You're swimming in this. You're supposed to. Come here, so let's get these done first. This will take all day. Plan them going on all day or something. The same, so. Well, don't. How do you like a fat lip? Am I the only one working here or what? All right, Jackie. What are you three corpse up to? Redesign the Mitchell man. What does it look like? My dad's got something for you. Oh, why? And well, it's your loss, not mine. Go swimming? No, Mountaineer. And what's it look like? Fancy a swim? Don't mind. What do you think, Tug? Oh, don't call me. I'm game, yeah. Well, do you turn on the way so you two can pick up your cozies? She ain't in there, Jack. Yeah? Yeah, well, the pool's open for the swimming club only until nine o'clock. Well, we couldn't watch. Did you cheer on, like? No, thanks. I want to win. About the corner that might fit into there because that says 14 and that's the bottom of it. Good. Now then, what's about this one up here? This one, this one, this one. This one. It's not that one, is it? It's fine. Throwing a bit of luck will be on the road by 10. Wow, oh, it's running like a bag of hammers. Why don't we change the cylinder and all? It's only a seal. Let me done in an hour. I mean it, Dad. The clutch cylinder is leaking. That's why you keep getting that horrible... Michael, it is misfiring, that's all. It just needs a bit of a retune and a new seal. Yeah, and a new engine and a new shell. Hey, it's got a better engine than that bike of yours over there. And your mother wants it shifted, by the way. You what? It's an eyesore. Shows us up. Eyesore? Well, what does that make this thing, then? What's wrong with it? Well, I mean, it wasn't exactly designed by Picasso, like, was it? I mean, I know beauty's in the eye of the beholder and all that, like... Hey, the beauty of this fan is that it pays the mortgage, right? That thing of yours is now the use of ornaments, so get rid. OK. <laughs> What's up? Oh, how am I supposed to read up on all this stuff when there's World War Three going on outside? The kids! Oh, come on, man. They make noise, that's what kids do. I know. I, I just can't afford to let the next campaign fail. Well, work tonight when they're in bed. And waste the whole day? No, enjoy it. Come on, come and play with us lot. What about lunch? But we've got a nanny, remember? Look, if you can't beat them... And anyway, how else are they going to get to love you? I wish it were that easy. It'll be as easy as setting up a neighbourhood watch scheme. Like, come on. <laughs> what neighbourhood watch scheme? Later, come on. Come on, Dad! Yeah. Patricia's going to play as well, even up the sides. He's John Barnes. I'm Ian Rush. Emily's Bruce Grobelar. Very impressive. Now, you can be... Mrs Barnes? <laughs> no, he's not married. He just lives with his girlfriend. Sensible woman. <sighs> well, she never said anything to me about it. Because she doesn't want to hurt your feelings, that's why. She blames me instead. You see, rumour has it that I lent you the money to get it. Not that I can remember when it was repaid, like. Oh, I'll talk around. Hey, if you do, from then on, it's strictly between you and her. I'm out. OK. Thank you for the guy, mister. Blimey, Togger. How much did that facelift cost you? All right, Mr. Dixon. <laughs> and he's going to touch a few strangers, eh? You might have better luck. That's the general idea, yeah. Well, don't let us keep yours. Yeah. Feed the guy. Ah, uh, sir? Sir? Eh, I haven't had any pocket money yet, Dad. Now, nah, eh, don't come at Tony. you got a bargain, eh? You know what I mean? No, go ahead. Float. God? See ya. Yeah, good riddance. These aren't going to waste. Well, they won't be if we eat them. Have you ever heard of inducements? No, never. Well, you have now. Get in and we'll go. We'll go where? Where does people? Shops. Give that man a teddy bear. OK, which shops? The shops by the swimming pool. She doesn't want us. We're not going to. We're out to make some dosh, aren't we? Nice one. We did soft lads burger alarm. And we'll wind up your Jackie as well as making some dosh. And it isn't even nine o'clock yet. You just practice shutting up, keeping still, and not breathing, will you? Oh, the whole house to yourself. Isn't it peaceful? Yeah, it's peaceful and boring. It's a bit like that sound, actually. I'm really fed up with it. I think I need a change or something. Yeah, me too. But what? I need a rabbit under me. All I do these days is sleep. You know what? I'm like that. I slept like a log last night. We could think about my driving test. I didn't know you were taking lessons. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not my idea, like, it's Anthony's. You know, with him opening a new shop and that and expands, and he wants me to have some lessons, so uh, he wants me to be travelling around, so... 
Did he pay for them? Oh, yeah. Just so you can drive around to salons. I well, suppose so, yeah. But I'm glad I'm learning, aren't I? Oh, I, yeah. Can't do no harm to learn, like, can you? No, especially if I'm going to become a mobile hairdresser. What? You mean you're going to... And then? Yeah, what do you think? Oh, yeah? Well, let me know if you need an assistant, won't you? Hey, Anthony's taught me a precious lesson. The only person you can depend on these days is yourself. Too right. Especially fellas. I mean, you can't even depend on them to let you down. You just never know. You know what? I'm having enough of fellas. Well, for the time being, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to that, um... What's his name? David fella? Is he still around or oh, what? Oh, no, we have bad bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got that far, anyway. Yeah, for all the good it did me. I need to change. Sort myself out. Yeah, me too. There you go. Charles. But what? I'm going to the shops myself as soon as I finish this. I'd sooner walk. I'd sooner you never. If you had the ball who did this, might live local. Oh, go away. He knows who you are and where you live. It happened, it's finished. What did he look like? Oh, I'm tired of telling you, Dad. Small, dark hair, or 25, you say? What good's this, you and I? All right, Frank. Yeah. I wish I could say the same about my front door. Why? Oh, yeah. You haven't had a lover's tip, have you? No. Ah, Sammy caused some fella trying to break in. Have you told the police? No. Look, I forgot my back. He's upset about it, that's all. Hey, they didn't get away with anything, did they? No, just smashed my front door in. Said he did see anyone hanging around. Oh, no, I can't say I did. I'm just gonna try this. No. Hey, do you want to handle it, that? Right, all right. Oh, look at that, so wide. You can't take nothing off the frame, like it. Have you got a glass cutter? No. Teddy's right, you know. Should he pose it to the police? Look, I am not talking to the police. Just give them a description, that's all. No chance. What are you scared of? Dad, I had enough of all this with the car crash. Oh, come on, help the guy. Oh, 20 people the guy misses. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Well. G-Wagon, we're thrown in and all. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Let's go, mate. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Next time some little diggy folk, you stick one on them. You say nothing. You're not supposed to be human. It shouldn't be hard. <laughs> it's hot in here. Look at old you. I'm freezing out here. Anyway, how are we doing? Er, uh, £1.80. Is that all? It's a recession, you know. Yeah. We're doing all right, considering. I've got a frostbite in my toes. Oh, shut up, moaning, will ya? What are you not doing here? Free world, isn't it? Yeah, only put people like you three in rain hill. Hang about. I'll put all my sides in case they fall out laughing. Do you win? Don't be losing. She lost. It was the heat, I'm in the final. She won. Nice one. Ten pay for the guy. Ten pence. Inflation plus VAT, you know. And it's the best guy you'll see around here. Oh! Not bad at all. But if it yells out now, what'll it be like when it's burning? Hey, what's going on? And it's Nickel, oh, and he passes oh. the ball, and it's to rush, and it... Oh! 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 oh. 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 Ref! Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. the ref! And it's a oh, goal! No. Oh, Ray, Ray, no! Me? Well, I don't know, really. I just want the boss to value me. Treat me as though I'm worthwhile having around. Give me the chance to show what I can really do. I suppose I want to be a stylist. Well, yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, well, you can't do anything, can you, unless you're given the chance? You really trusted Anthony, didn't you? Well, I had no reason to distrust him. I've just got to get out. Well, I wouldn't leave just because of him. Yeah, well, I'll never get to be top stylist while he's there, will I? And well, there's a bad atmosphere between us, and I know he wants to move on. So, from now on, he won't trust you? Well, I know too much, don't I? <sighs> it's all about power, isn't it? And control over your own life. And we just don't have it. And even, like, you knowing about Anthony's plans and that, it's always used against you. First it was Liam. And then Barry. And now Anthony. I get a bit paranoid, you know. I think it might be me. <laughs> Come on. How are you to know Anthony would blow it? And as for Liam, I mean, nobody asked him to kill himself. He was just off his cake. Yeah, but getting pregnant wasn't bad luck. I mean, that was just stupid. <laughs> well, you didn't get pregnant on your own, did you, so? It was only half stupid. Yeah. But what would you have done? Same as you. Honest. Definitely. You don't regret it, do you? 
No, not for a minute, but you know, I hate Barry and I wish I hadn't. Well, when couples split up, I mean, someone usually gets hurt. That's the risk you've got to take from your first get together. Yeah. How about you and that Tony fella? <sighs> well, he didn't have bad breath, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Oh, he wanted me to go on holiday with him. Didn't you fancy it? Oh, yeah. I fancied the holiday, though, more than I fancied him. I still do. What? Going on holiday. It's just what I need. Yeah, me too. <sighs> do you mean it? I will if you will. When? Whenever. Where? Oh, anyway. I am serious, Oh, yeah, so am I. I mean, it's not as if we're doing anything else, is it? So why not? Come on, we might get a last minute cancellation or something. Let's have a look in the All paper. Changing me, mate. Oh, this thing's in him. They are, I told you so. Right then, all we need now is a new clutching cable. We just need a new cable. Do you want to come with me? Oh, I'm not that heavy, are you, Dad? And I'm not that stupid either. How did it go? Not bad. We still got a few wagon wheels left, like. So, what are you doing now then? Yeah, what are we doing now? Shut, Shut up. up. We should have this on the road by tomorrow, Dad. No, we won't. The road tax has run out. Oh, nobody's gonna know. Your mother would have a fit. So will our Jackie when she sees you on a bike, Dad. You're looking right, Divvy. And, hey, you'll finish up with a mouthful of dandruff if you don't watch that lip. Well, why don't we tax it at the post office, then? Oh, no, it's gone one o'clock, hasn't it? Yeah, we'll do it Monday. And, listen, if our Jackie wants to know where this is, tell her. Don't go winding her up. All right. Hey, why didn't you go to Josie's DIY shop? I mean, it's nearer, and they sell everything. All right, yeah. So how are things with you? All right. Meaning what? Have you seen the suit, innit? Not seen, not heard, and that's the way I like it. Yeah, fellas, can I have a word? Hey, what's up? Well, security, safety, or the lack of it. Um, <laughs> your door being kicked in, my garden shed being turned over, my alarm going off this morning. Yeah? Well, don't you think it's about time we establish some law and order around here? So what are you saying? Well, we keep an eye out on each other's houses. Uh, a neighbourhood watch scheme, in other words. Oh, Paul Collins organised one of them. It was a shambles. Well, we reorganised another one and make sure it's not a shambles. It's the security of the whole close we're talking about. It's worth thinking about, but that's got to be well organised. And that's always a problem. Yeah, but once it's organised, we can all share the responsibility. Hi, Mr Rogers. Hi, love. Well, once you've organised it, you can count me in. Will do. So, who's going to organise it? Well, that's the $64,000 question, isn't it? It needs somebody who's known, liked and familiar to the majority of the neighbours. That doesn't give you many options, does it? You could do it. Oh, no, not me. I've got nothing worth robbing. Yeah, well, I'm sure you have. But anyway, it's the principle. Like Frank said, when you get it organised, count me in. All right. Now, I'm that good, eh? It couldn't be worse. It could be dead. Yeah, well, like I said, it couldn't be worse. Listen, this is what I want to tell you. Come in, then. What do you two fancy for dinner tonight, then? Hamburgers? Mm, yeah. Yeah, so much for lentils and brown rice. Let me at those additives. Your turn, Emily. What's up? Just making sure the clampets aren't wrecking our back garden. No kidding. Jethro and his wow. hippie mates are hanging around looking <laughs> bored in need of creating some havoc. Well, they're those type of kids. The alarm's always going to be a temptation. Come on, Patricia. Come on, play the game. Don't worry, I'm still playing. Oh, come on. Burglars have been known to operate in broad daylight. Frank Rogers had his door kicked in. At the very least, a neighbourhood watch would catch those three idiots red-handed. Well, they're not stupid. They're only going to trigger off the alarm early morning or in the back garden, where there's no neighbours to watch them. If it bothers you that much, go and have a quiet word with Mr Clampett. Waste of breath, nothing but petty criminals next door. 
Oh. Well, then phone the police if it's getting you down. Police? We've only just moved in. Come on, then forget two, it and join two. us. Oh, come oh. on, Dad. Yeah. Come on, play the game with us. For setting my alarm oh, off this you? morning, you must be joking. What's the loss? We've been out here. And I might just ring the police and have you all done for begging and vagrancy. We're not begging. And oh, we're not vagrancy either. Here, and tell your dad his van's not road taxed. We're just asking if you'll have the guy. You don't have to. But we're giving these away to all the kids on the close. See ya. Uh, thank you. Hang on, what are they doing now? Like these, Matthew. Yummy. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> They're for after your tea. Don't I get one, Dad? No, you can't. And they are yummy, too. <laughs> yeah, they are yummy, too. Oh, they're just trying it on, see how far they can push. When's lunch? As soon as Margaret gets back with Thomas. Five. Hello. One, oh, two, hello. Three, four, five. Susanna. Yeah, great. Fine. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Matthew, it's your mum. Hello, Mum. Your turn next, Emily. I've been playing football with my dad. I love you, Mum. Sardinia? I don't know where it is. Where is it? Um, it's just near the Mediterranean, just below Corsica, I think. Well, if it's sunny or it's sandy, I don't really care. Well, it's all sunny round the Med. So, I can top up my bronzy. Oh, yeah, out of a bottle. Hey, you! I had to slave long, hard hours under the sunbed for this tan. Um, I don't fancy Spain, do you? No, me neither. How about Turkey? Cyprus. Cyprus? Well, that's half Greek, isn't it? Should we go to Greece? Yeah, what is that? Let's see. I don't know. Couple of weeks in the islands, three-star hotel. Oh, sunny and sandy, yes. Sightseeing, days out. No, it's too organised for me. Cruises and discos. Oh, behave yourself. I'm not going on one of them. What? Cos it's just a sex maniac's convention. What if you're already a sex maniac? No, you know what I mean, like all them Miss Wet T-shirt competitions and all that crap. No, it's not. And anyway, even if it is, no-one's going to force you to do it, are they? I'll tell you what, we'll just sit on the beach all day and read a good book. Oh, no. But well, it's cheap, and everyone speaks English, so if anyone's got any problems, you can just phone for the courier. Well, what else is there? Oh, I don't know. I mean, we might be looking at a last-minute cancellation, especially if we're not bothered what island we go to, but... Well, we can go down the travel agents and have a look, can't we? When do you want to go? Whenever. When do you want to go? Now. <laughs> Come on, then. Just get my coat and my keys. Yeah. Help the guy, please. <laughs> Ow! Oh, how long did it take you to make this? A day. Did it? Ow! Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Off the grass there with the pram. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you mean you've come all the way round here just to tell me that? Owen was my friend too, and you should know he's upset. Oh, no kidding. My dad's obsessed about our door and all. I've had to lie through my teeth to stop him going round to Owen's. It's hardly surprising Owen went mad the way you lied to him. You what? Oh, come on, Sammy. You said you were ill and you couldn't see him just so you could go swan around with James Dean over there. Um, apart from the fact that it's none of your business who I decide to swan round with, you're the one who started all the trouble between me and Owen. Oh, any excuse. Well, you were the one who told him I'd had a few drinks in Blackpool. And you did, and he was worried. Yeah, but you weren't chuffed when me and Owen were talking about pee finishing with you, were you? That was none of your business. Eh, uh, precisely. Well, if you're going to be like that... Well, I am like that. Oh, Owen will be round tomorrow. Try and be on your own if you can. You all right? I've been worse. All right, Mike. All right. What do you think of that, lad? Broad daylight now. She could have been mugged. Did you see anyone? Help the guy, please. Get lost. Wasn't talking to you. There you go, here, here. Oh, it's all Mr. Rogers. Yeah? I saw it all, Mr. Rogers. And what happened? Oh, I've already told you. I want to know from him. Well, um. I heard a noise, you know, the door getting booted in. It came out, saw your Sammy running towards the house, and this fella doing a bunk like. What did he look like? Small and dark. Sammy? Yeah, he was small and dark. How old was he? 
I didn't get that good a look at him, but at a rough guess, I'd say he was in his 20s. Couldn't half run, now. I'll say that for him. Hey, up. I said I wouldn't talk to them. Well, it sounds to me, love. The tax disc? What? Farnham snitch about the tax disc. Oh, well, he can't do nothing if it's in the drive. Come, Ed. Let's get the mopey off the road. Farnham wouldn't do that, would he? Oh, sorry. Come, Ed. It's no good pushing individually. You've all got to push at once. When I count to three. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Hey, Mr. Rogers, any hey. chance of keeping the flood away? Come on. And again. OK, one, Can you get any answer? Two, yeah, I'll try. Oh, Terry! Come on. Terry! Someone here to see you, mate. Come on. Hang on, lads. Come on, one, two, three, push, push! Yeah, that's nice. What can I do for you? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that's thought you were looking at the road tax. <laughs> hey, it's a good job you didn't give down to any of them wagon wheels. Why, Dad? For a fortnight past the sell-by date, that's why. <laughs> What's up, Terry? It's Sue. There's been an accident. Oh, no. I I'm sorry, Frank. I I've got to go. Yeah, go ahead. Next on Living, we go peeping through the keyhole.
Morpheus cast a spell on me last night, or did you sleep right through? You slept like a log, didn't you? <laughs> For this relief, much thanks. Oh, cheers. Oh, why do the weekends go so fast and the weekdays drag? Oh, a question asked since time immemorial and still to be given a satisfactory answer. <laughs> Both of you and Emily are nuts about it. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's because he's that kind of a kid, aren't you, you little monster? Yeah, they'll miss him. Well, they'll be back a week on Sunday. Lifetime for a kid. More toast. Oh, no, you're all right here. Oh, husband? Uh, yeah, just the one, thanks. You know, maybe they could, uh... Margaret? No, I'm okay, thanks. Matthew and Emily, you could stay weekends instead of Saturdays. What? Well, why not? Oh, lots of reasons. Like what? Not now, Max. Not just before work. Why? What's the objection? I was just asking a question. I can't afford to let this campaign slip. Not after the last fiasco. Not now, Max. Tonight? If we must. That. It might be worth a few, Bob, though. I'm not having all hands dumping their rubbish in our skip. And, hey, have you spoken to Mike about this bike? Yeah. What a fine example you are for the lads. I mean, no wonder our garden's a show. I'll tell you what, if I staple all this with a bit of luck, it might even pay for the hire. Oh, talk to a brick wall. Hey, never look a gift horse in the garden. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't when I met you. I had my eyes closed, must have. All right, love. Hey, hey, how'd it go? Ace. Did you win? It was only a trial. A trial? Does, does that mean, like, you can have another go, or what? It's a better club, isn't it? Oh, I have standards, yeah. Well, that's it, then. Elbow the old one and join a new one. Oh, what do you think of being trying to do all this morning? Oh, great. Have they accepted you, then? I don't know, yeah. Cos I'm starving. Oh, the tea's made. Hey, Queen, wake Tony for us, will you? Oh, he's a nice son. Hey, that's my son you're talking about. All right, Ron. Got a few things you might be interested in here, Ron. Cheese made, you say? I'm glad we communicate so well. Yeah, I should keep you happy for a while. 20 quid the lot. <laughs> Come on, there's 30 quid's worth there. Buds and turnips, 10p a pound. The cabbages are only 50p. It's cheaper than the fruit and veg. 15 at the most. All right, 15 quid then. Under normal circumstances, yeah. Oh, don't call that. Look, the Moby's out of action. I'm not in business. I can't sell them. Well, what am I going to do with them? Find another retailer. Turn vegetarian. Oh, come on. I mean, it's going to be bad for any future business if we both miss out in the ends, you know, Ron. Ah, uh, no, all right. The Moby might be back on the road tomorrow, so, uh, give you the fiver. The fiver? Behave yourself. A fiver plus. Well, what do I want with that? It's going to be worth a tenner. Oh, I would, or without the upholstery hanging out. Behave yourself. A little bit of staple on there, you get 15 quid for that. Well, what am I going to do with it? Sit on it, sell it anything. I don't know. Come in. <sighs> what do you know about Chinese proverbs? You used to know a Chinese girl. I get to know this. Many hands make light work. Do you want the next delivery? Morning. Morning. Wednesday. How much? Same again. 20 quid. 10 there. Uh, 15. All right, done. Cash, used notes, non in sequence. You know what I mean? Simba. Would I diddle you? <laughs> we are. We're living next door to the Beverly Hillbillies. Black gold. Texas tea. Hey, come on, these have got to be washed. Give us a hand. Hey, the price you paid for them, you're lucky they're not still in the ground. Spencer, then. Hope you didn't pay him good money. Jackie! You don't have to be spotless, you know, girl. A little bit of muck makes him seem more authentic. 
But a bit of luck do pass for organic. We get another five. Right? And are you going to sell him with the Moby still in dry dock? He'll be back on the road tomorrow. Trust me. Your toast burning. You're not kidding. Just dropped off. I don't know how he does it. I was up at four this morning. So was I. Worried stiff. Oh, he won't do anything. He's already kicked the door in. Come on, what am I gonna do? Get a new door? <laughs> It'll all blow over. Oh, and I mean at the door. You should get him to pay for it. My dad thinks I walked in on a burglar in broad daylight. I wish my dad was that gullible. Yeah, but if he finds out there, I'm dead. You need muscle. Oh, don't let me dad loose on him and kill him. Yeah, no, that's going a bit too far. You just want him worked over, like. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm serious, though. I mean, you need muscle just in case he flies off the handle again. What about... Mike? Why not? I just... You like him, don't you? Oh, I hardly know her. Like him that much, do you? But it's a bit soon to drag him into something like this. I mean, you might ruin things before they've got started, like. Should we have another cup of coffee? I've got to tell you. The green ice I lost in the post, is it? No. It's been an accident, it's your mum. What? I'm really sorry, honest. Don't be putting the mockers on us, girl. Well, hurry up, then. Do you think I'm under here for the good of my health, or what? I'm very impressed, but being underneath there won't put food on the table, never mind the mortgage. Thank you for reminding me. Any time. Oh, I love. I was school. OK. What's he doing under there? It's for his health. I heard that. You were supposed to. Did you go swimming this morning? She was up before you were awake, you yeah, idol. New club, then. Are you in or what? I don't know, yeah. Why? Press! What was going to do with you, anyway? Well, she could put the word in for me. Oh, why? You sound like a brick. I mean, with the girls, soft ollies. Tore your ledger eyes on a black beauty? Well, I can't have too much of a good thing, can I? You can only stuff pork, you can't educate us. Yeah, too right. Oh, look. Talk at the devil. OK, let go. And why were you back off an hour before Earth season? I'm free last lesson on a Monday. You better be. He's the lone woman. He's ill for me, isn't he? They're not going to ask him questions about this in his exams. Listen to that. She's purring like a little kitten. Go ahead. <laughs> Ship ahoy! <laughs> the Moby's afloat! Hey, you two, not on the streets. Why not? It never happens, isn't it? Don't you dare. Any news? No sign of him. You coming in? No, I can't. I'd just forget about him if I were you. 
My dad's in. Will you save them? Yeah, but if Ellen comes round and talks to him, it'll come out about the door. And then you'll really be in it. God, I wish I'd never set eyes on him. I really do. Have you seen any more of the gorilla? Uh, what's this? The night shift, or what? See you later. There you go. How is he? He's asleep. Well, he'll be all right now. You know, I'd get smashed if I thought he'd put it all right again or just make it go away. He didn't say when it happened. Saturday night. Well, the police come round to your last known address because he couldn't find you. So I had to identify the body. What? Well, they needed an identification. That was my job. You weren't around. She was my mother. I should have done that. It was my task, my duty. I only did what the police asked me to do. Good at doing what you're told, aren't you? Get well, I had to. It was your mother, and I'd done something like well, that. I was in shock, too, you know. I mean, you don't think straight, do you? You know when the busies come round and ask you to do something like that? No, I bet you don't. No, come on. What? The mortuary. What? I want to see her. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. I'll go and wake Daniel. No, don't. <sighs> Terry. Look, I wouldn't advise it. Thanks for the advice, but... Look, it really upset you. It's upsetting me not seeing her now. Come on! It was a terrible accident. I know that. It was really bad. Yes, I know. Okay. Well, it'll do your head in if you go and see her like that. Honest, believe me. Whether you like it or not, I'm walking through that door. I'm getting Daniel and I'm going down to mortuary with or without you. I'm a daughter. She's not your mother. It's nothing to do with you. I'm not even your wife anymore. Daniel's not even... I never said goodbye. <laughs> What's wrong with Saturdays? What's wrong with the weekends? It's only every other weekend, you know. Why? It's just not fair. On whom? We do have a son of our own to attend to. Oh, come off it. Matthew and Emily will worship the ground he crawls on. You know No they... one's saying they don't. All I'm saying is that I would like to spend some weekends with my husband and my you child. You can't every other weekend. What about Margaret? What about Margaret? It doesn't say anything in her contract about looking after three kids. She doesn't kids have a every... contract. Oh, don't be so pedantic. You know full well what I mean. She's about as mad about them as I am. Well, she won't be when they're here eating up half her free time. Well, they'll be with us as well. It's not fair. We'll give her a rise. <laughs> We won't. I mean, mortgages, child maintenance, whole tax money's tight enough as it is. Oh, so that's your objection, not abusing Margaret's goodwill. In the main, yeah. In the main. Anything else? No. You sure? Does it do? OK. Let's ask her. What? If she minds. No. No, it's her decision. It's our decision. Margaret! Max, this is not on. How do you feel about Matthew and Emily coming to stay alternate weekends? Now, that's Friday night through to Sunday evening, with us. Yeah, fine by me, they're great. Is it OK if I just nip outside? I've got to tell Sally something. Oh, yeah, sure. I could start making some money again. We should clean up on this fresh veg. Yeah. Can you lend me some money? No. Oh, don't be tight, Dad. You've got to put an engine in that thing somehow. Oh, you're pulling the girls with Anna, aren't you? Why bother changing your style? But I spent all day Saturday helping you on this thing. Hey, and so you should. If this is in dry dock, we don't eat. I see how I'm fixed the weekend. Hey, Margaret. Hey, I'm better looking than him. I know, I'm taking pity on him. Mike, just stack them peas on the shelf will you then lock up. OK. Right. Um, no, thanks. I'm trying to stay slim. What's up? Is, um, is Sammy expecting the gorilla around at all today? Well, she can't avoid him forever, can she? Yeah, but an alpha will kill him if he finds out. He'll kill her and all. Yeah, I suppose he will. What time's he coming? I don't know. They don't book appointments. Spontaneous type, is he? <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. Well, just tell her, if he comes round, I'll sort him. You know, if she knew we were talking like this, she'd throw a fit. So what's it to you? Well, I'd normally knock seven bells out of the lad myself, you know, but I'm a bit busy minding the little one. Oh, I think you'd better get back to the little one, then. Oh, thanks, Mike. You're a real charmer. Hey, your reputation must have spread. 
It's rude to listen into other people's conversations. You saw some out good and proper, won't you, Mike? I mean, we all know how good you are at poking your nose in. Well, you might still not be in one piece if I hadn't. Oh, it's never that simple. Where are you going? Out. Suddenly lose your memory, did you? Well, at least he had the guts to apologise. But he didn't have the guts to show his gob at our front door, did he? Yeah, I wouldn't let him come round here. Well, you tell him if he so much as lays a finger on you again. Think he got the message last time, loud and clear. Hey, there's plenty more where that came from. Tell him. You agreed? No, I didn't. You said I agreed. What's the objection now? It's unfair. But Margaret said it was unfair all right. Unfair on me. Well, you can still work. I'll look after the kids. I don't answer. want them here. They like you. You seem to be getting to like them. You listen, but you don't hear. They're great kids. They really are nice kids. But they're not mine. But that doesn't mean to say that I can spend a whole day with them. And I'm not just talking about Saturday, but, but lots of other days. And I play with them, laugh with them, eat, read them stories, bath them, do all the work. I live with them. And it's great. As tired as I am, I get a lot out of it. I get to love them. I do. And then the phone rings, and it's Susanna. And up they leap, and their excitement reaches fever pitch, and I'm back on the subs bench, very much the first reserve. All kids are like that, and you know it. You still don't get it, do you? Susanna's their mum. They're not my kids. I wish they were. <laughs> Every time they come here, I, I foster them, we get close. Well, no, it's more than that. I adopt them, here. And then Susanna rings and rips up the adoption papers. And it hurts. It really does. It happens every time and you've never noticed. Of course I've noticed. You never said anything? Well, I didn't know what to say. Even that would have been enough. I'm sorry. Whatever I do doesn't make any difference. It's beyond my reach. I, I don't get it. Well, when I was living rough at the Collinses, there was a lot of sympathy around, but there was no help except from you. But what did I do? Well, you let me have a bath for a start, didn't you? So it was a token of my gratitude and my esteem. I don't want to sound vulgar or nothing, but it is worth at least 25 quid. Oh, thanks. I tell you what, it doesn't half look familiar, you know. Does it? Yeah. Well, it will do, won't it? It's popular stuff, this, you know. Everyone's got them. It lasts forever. Listen, I wanted to tell you, look, I'm not getting the water put on at my place until next week, so, uh, well, um, I can live for another week without a bath, but what do you think? What? Could I have a bath? Look, it'll be the last one, I promise you. Oh, you can't, Simbad. Sue's up there. Sue? Yeah, look, her ma's being killed. She was in a car crash, and I I'm just helping her out, so... Oh, well... I don't need a bath or that in life. I mean, it's not important. No, I'm not in this. Oh, hey, look, Terry, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I mean, for you and your beard and that. Hiya. Hiya, all right. Um, just on my way out. See you, mate, all right. I'll yeah, see you. See you. Where'd you get this? Oh, don't ask. It's a long story. What do you think? <laughs> Me neither. Hey, yeah. Uh... Terry, I just want to say something. Thanks. I mean, it couldn't have been easy for you with my mum after everything the last few months. I mean, with Jenny not being back till the weekend, I didn't much fancy staying there on my own. Oh, well, wasn't on, was it? I'll um, go and bath the tear away then. Where do you want me to sleep? We'll sort that out eh, after you finish with Danny. Yes, three. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think, eh? Hey? Oh, uh, very nice, yeah. It's worth a few bob, that. Look, uh, I'll leave you two around. Hang on, hang on a minute. Look, uh, well, to be honest with you, I, I got this for you. What? Well, as a thank you, you know, for when me and Sue were splitting up and that, well, for being such a good mate. Oh, look, Tess, I can't. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to take no for an answer. I mean, well, to be honest with you, I mean, there's not enough room in here for it, is there? I don't know what to say. Just take it. I'll do the same for you sometimes, Is
There goes the neighborhood. We do some spying on mysterious celebrity homes in a couple of minutes as we go through the keyhole. Hey, uh, got a proposition for you, lot. Could be a few bob, innit? You listening or what? Hey. It's all comes from me. Listen, sort it out today, and there's a drink in it for you. If you don't sort it out, there'll be a few false teeth. All right? Good. Hey. Um, you're home early. Yeah, still working there, don't worry. Is Margaret in? She's at the shops. Can I help? No, it doesn't matter. Nice outfit. Thanks. Oh, Sammy, it must have been a real shot walking in on that burglar. If anything like that happens again, we get over here, PDQ, OK? Yeah, right. Thanks, I appreciate it. Not bad. Very clever. Really smart. You know, we thought so too. It's a good job one of us is making some dosh. Oh, yeah, help the guy, mate. Yeah, if the guy helps me, walk this way. What is it? Well, it could be worth a few, Bob, if you have got your wits about you. Oh, I don't know so much. You were just about to go to the shops and collect for the guy. Yeah, tell him his money, you know. Oh, I haven't heard that one before. What do we have to do, right? Well, you have to practice your entrepreneurial skills. Oh, Daddle. We practice it every single day. Great. Just sell this. Sell that? Hey, that's worth at least 25 quid, you know. It's a present. Don't they like you? What do we get for the guy? Well, you get a 100% profit on whatever price you get. There's no initial outlay. Now, that's a hell of a deal, fellas. It's junk. You what? Nobody in the right mind to pay any money for that. Come, Ed. Hey, all right, all right. I'll give us a quid to take it away. Oh, OK, you know? No, two quid. Hey, behave you. Why didn't you just dump it in the skip anyway? It's not my skip, is it? Didn't stop you the other day. I saw you out the window. 
Stick to it. Ethan's looking for some new trainees, you know. Weird. The pay's lousy and the working conditions are even worse. Besides, we're so young for the YTS. Now, look, you wait till I'm in Terry's before moving it right. And if it goes in the skip, I want to cover it up and out of sight. Well, I got ya. It might be worth a few bucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, your dad's scared every time you come home now. No. Oh, I'd be petrified. No, you know, in case, like, he comes round again, there's no one in. No, well, he ran away. He was more scared than I was. What did Aaron say? Nothing. Oh, be careful. Well, don't you want him to walk you home, like? I'll say this much for Barry. He wouldn't let anyone within a mile of me if I was in your boots. Well, I didn't want a big fuss, like. He was a little weedy fellow. One good gust of wind to blow him over. Hey, well, just remember, if it ever happens again, come over to ours. There's bound to be someone in. Yeah, even if it's only a rod. Yeah, thanks. I'll All right, see ya. It's like I want to protect her, even though I know I can't, and... Oh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know you're right, you can't. But it's her mum's funeral, and what Sue needs now is some clear thinking on the practicalities. You know, I'm going to take it, the funeral. Do you know my mum and mum's going to be there? Yeah, just a few of my mum's friends, that's all. So just the one car then, right? Yeah, just the one car and a hearse. I don't have to choose the casket and all that, do I? Well, no, uh, Dawson's do a sort of a standard package. It's as reasonable as anyone else. Shopped around then, have you? We used to work there, didn't we? Struck a luck. Are you sure you want to go through this now? Yeah, the sooner it's over and done with, the better. Right. Well, I reckon cremation's the best. You've got all kinds of rigmarole to go through for the grave. Yeah, I don't want her buried. Well, look at the creme there. Uh, you need two or three days, you know, before... Um... Yeah, before we can fit you in. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Right. Flowers, then. What do I do? Well, uh, Dawson's, uh, they include it in the cost. Hey, yeah. Uh... We'll have to get the vicar to say a few words, you know, the crematorium. Yeah, well, my mum did a fair bit of voluntary work with the church. Right, well, we'll get on with it, eh? She was insured, wasn't she, your mum? Yeah, I'm sure she was. Look, uh, I think he needs changing. Well, without wishing to sound mercenary, I mean, I think you should be all right, you know. I don't think it'll cost you anything. Yeah. Really tacky, isn't it, money? Especially when you haven't got it. Oh. Funeral right away, eh? Yeah, defo. Yeah, she looks knackered, you know. That's hardly surprising, is it? Oh, don't tell me they've had a sudden flood in demand. I've got that. Right, boss. Looks as, uh, I'll get down the road and uh, I'll call in Dawson's on the way, all right? Thanks. All right, see you later. Sit down, mate. What's up, sir? Sue's ma's been killed in a car crash. I'm just helping her out with the funeral. What, she's here? Do you know what you're doing, Terry? I'm only helping her out. I'll tell you what, you're not half good. Most fellas would have told us to sling her out. I don't hate her. Good. I wouldn't get you anywhere, would I? You just hate what she's done to you, which is fair enough. Anyone would. She's only staying a few days. Just remember why you're in this position. Why you're on a dad. And why you're on your own. Right, anyway, down to business. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news about the warehouse. Well, I only want the good news. Well, the bad news is the warehouse that we went for, we haven't got it. It's fallen through. Someone's bought it or something like that. But I've got my eye on another one. And what's the chances? Well, we live in hope, don't we? I'm expecting a phone call this afternoon. Well, where is this new warehouse? Ah, now that'd be telling, wouldn't it? Anthony! Oh, love. Gee, there's something funny about next door. I don't like Oh, guess what? Have you seen... I got accepted. Oh, what? At a swimming club. Oh, that's very nice. Have you seen Anthony anywhere? No, why? Well, because this garden's become a nursery for bits of stray wood. Well, I thought it was your dad's stuff to begin with, but it's not. It's all rubbish. Oh, your dad's stuff's all rubbish. Do you think they might be slinging bits over the fence at night? Oh, behave, Mum. Anything they'd sling over here, my dad would sell faster than you can say profit. Or besides, ask them. They might know. Come here, you lot. Window cleaner, I'll throttle him. Thank you, yes. Yeah. Any phone calls from me, Bod? No. I'm on to go into community liaison and can't prevention, like. Where have you been? What's that? Talk to yourself, Rod. Yeah, why change the habits of a lifetime, eh? <laughs> when he's gone? Monday. Oh, right. Package your order, is it? Yeah, it's a package, isn't it? Who, eh? Please don't tell him. It's weird. Please, I won't speak to you ever again. Club 18 to 30 to Rhodes. You cow! 
<laughs> Club 1830. Oh, what's wrong with that? Sex and more sex. Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Hey, Sammy. Heard about your bird, love you, love. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What's the world coming to, eh? And you're not even safe walking up your own garden path. Look, it wasn't as bad as everyone made out. It was over in a flash. Oh, why? Yeah, this time. But what happens if he comes back, eh? And they can, you know. According to statistics, most criminals revisit the scene of the crime. Look, he was just a little runt. Ah, that's the spirit, eh? Don't let them get to you. No chance. Hey, now, listen. If there's any more trouble, you know, anything in the future, just give us a knock on number yeah, 10, I'll eh? remember. All right, see ya. Mr. Corgill. Uh, you all right, Sammy? Yeah, fine. So is the door. Look, if ever you need yeah, any help. Yeah, I know. Sure. No need to be so formal, you know. You can call me God. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible experience for anyone, let alone a young girl like uh, that. I know, you're not kidding. Do you know something? This world, I'm telling you, it's full of thieves and scallies, it is. Well, hopefully not this close. Hey? Uh, the residents of the close, we need someone to organise something to keep an eye out on each other's houses. Oh, you mean like, um, a neighbourhood watch thingy? Good idea. Used to be one of those here. You know, Mr Collins over there yeah. used to live there. He used to organise it. But he's not here anymore. Well, why don't you do it then? <laughs> I'm just the new kid on the block. Um, good organisation comes from the roots. Oh, <laughs> I'll think about it, all right. Uh, yeah, a nice one. I see you served, ladies. Oh, charms, I'm sure. All right, kids. Can you squeeze another chair around that table or what? What's all this then? Moon on holidays. Oh, I got you. Very nice too. What's for each kid? Ah, oh, you know, it's time. I don't need Jim. That's why I'm your favourite uncle. You're our only uncle. Which proves me point. What do you want anyway? And hey, how come you've got a key for our front door? Listen, your old fella's been on the blower, hasn't he? Asking after all of us. So I just thought I'd pop round to see how you were so that next time he phones, I'll be able to tell him, all right? Jimmy. Why doesn't he just phone here? Good point. But would he get the whole truth, eh? Oh, was he from you? Listen, have you ever known me to lie, eh? Yeah, well, I'll take that as a vote of confidence. And seeing as your old fella's not here, I'm out of the family now. All right. <laughs> been thinking. Dangerous. Like I said before, I don't want to be the wicked stepmother. They like you. They like you a lot. <laughs> no, no. I've been chewing it over at work and I thought, what the hell? Let them come weekends. You sure? Mm-hmm. Why the U-turn? Well, they're as much a part of you as Thomas and me, so why not? OK, um, uh, Saturday's our take them out for the day. Give you the chance to get some work done. Sometimes, yeah, but I think we ought to sort things out with Margaret. Redefine a few boundaries. What boundaries are these? Well, if the kids are going to be here more often and she has to... She likes being with them. <laughs> I like work sometimes. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it for nothing. Mm. And I think we ought to start giving her a bit more leeway. Socially, I mean. I am not with you. Boyfriends. Oh, she can go any time she likes. And what about bringing them back? No, definitely not. Oops, there goes the Liberal vote. She is not having her boyfriends in this house. She said she's having them. When did she go to the shops? Uh, forget it. A quickie. We never have quickies. A slowie. Look, what's wrong with the neighbourhood watch thingy anyway? Hmm? Jimmy, the neighbours don't watch nothing around here except for the telly. Hey, I'm hoping to go on a course about all this, you know. Roger's always going on courses. Yeah, well, I'll be staying at Tomo's until it's finished. Oh, Gonna be, uh, spending a bit of time away from home then, are you, kid? It's none of your business. Yeah, well, I might have known me and she a little way. There's no one to cook for you. I'll behave. Well, whoever does your cooking, it's not gonna be us. Yeah, we won't be doing any cooking for a fortnight. We won't be doing a hand's turn. Yeah, it's you right, just some and salt. I know you, so. Yeah. Well, I hope it keeps fine for you. What time is it? Um, 20 past five. What's up, Bazza? Just waiting for the phone call, Jim. Oh, why? Important, is it, kid? Well, I wouldn't be waiting if it wasn't important, would I? There's no mill. 
Well? Hey, listen, what's all this with this, uh, you know, community policing and all that like? Well, it's permanent days for a start, isn't it? I mean, shifts don't do much for your social life. Certainly didn't do much for me and Kirsty. Neither did knock enough WPC, Emma Reed. Oh, give us a break, will you? No, Jim, I think it's dead important, like, you know, this community policing. I mean, look at poor Sammy Rogers the other day. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Bit of a blow to the system that one, eh? Is she saying it well, isn't she? Mm, crap. Meaning what, like? What well, burglar's gonna try and kick the door down in broad daylight? She had a Barney with Owen, that's what's happened. Now, do you know all this? I've kicked a few doors in in me time, haven't I? Oh, knock them dead, eh, Baz? Great seduction technique, that, innit, eh? Eh? Yeah, <laughs> but why would Sammy lie? Would it stop an old fella from kicking Owen's head in, wouldn't he? I just think I'm still in one piece, eh? That's a load of crap. Anyway, I'm gonna get some milk. Ta-da. Yeah, Ta-da. Hey, Rod, if you get lost, you know who to ask, don't you? If you can find one. <laughs> Mind you, at least he's not in Sid, is he? Leave him alone, will you? Hey, look who's talking. Um, do you think we'll have to take this many pairs of knickers? I mean, we might be able to get to a laundress after the week, might we? Look, you need a washing machine on my holidays. Hey, look, do we have to listen to this? Why don't you go upstairs and pack, eh? You're trying to get rid of us, are you, Jim? Yes. Come on, Nick, I think it's going to be boys' talk down here. Oh, boys' talk. Whippets, pigeons, beer. Balls. Oh, yeah, definitely. Listen, Barry, uh, I wanted to have a word. You know about Joey Gordon. Well, you know, he murdered uh, Frankie, didn't he? And he did me over good and proper. And then he went and murdered our cousin, Don. I thought the coroner said it was death by misadventure, Jimmy. Yeah, he did. But we both know he was talking out of the wrong orifice, don't we? Listen, you went to see Joey Gordon, and it's all been nice and quiet since then, hasn't it? Well, I want to know what went on, what happened. Why? What should have happened? What should I have done, Jimmy? What happened, Barry? Just leave it, eh? You don't want to know. Yeah, he does. And so do I. Didn't hear you knock. I'm not Rod. Look, I just went to see him, and we've come to an agreement. An understanding. It won't be bothering you anymore. Right? Look, come on, will you? No, you come on, Jimmy. That's not very fair, is it? Well, sometimes life isn't fair, is it, Trace? Don't stop me from running you to the airport, Dom. All right? Everybody says it, don't they? I wish I could have said this to my parents before they died, or I wish I could have said that. There's always something you forget to tell them, no matter how much warning you get. All the childhood memories. Mum bathing me cut knee, taking me shopping. All those small, stupid, tiny little things that stick in your memory. And you'd just like to say, thanks, Mum, it's been great. Anything I can do for you, just let me know. I knew her in a different way than anybody else. She was a real pillar of the community. Always on the church committee and fundraising schemes and so very proud. She knew me in a different way too. When she found out about Daniel and you and the marriage. That ripped a piece out of her heart. She just took on board my shame, really. You can't keep on. When you two first met. She didn't think you were good enough for me. And then she realised that I wasn't good enough for you. And then when we split up, she was still there for me, waiting. And I wasn't there. I never thanked her or told her how much I loved her and admired the way she stuck by me when she had every right to walk away. And that she couldn't have been a better mother. And that I was so lucky that she was my mum. And I wasn't there. It's early days, you know. You can't keep on blaming yourself. Who else is there to blame? You, Danny. It'll take time. <laughs> the cure all a time. 
the great healer. Tell me something, Terry. When will time heal what I did to you? Hi, Sam. Sorry about the door. It's all right, after the facelift. We can still make it together, you know. I don't know. We've been through hell and back together. Surely that's got to mean something. It's got to count for more than just a few silly rows. It's not the rows, it's why we have them. We just don't get on anymore. It's just a bad patch. We can get through it. Well, the bad patch seems to be lasting longer than the good bits, and it's been like this for a long time. Not for me, it hasn't. Oh, let's face it, Erwin. Look, it was you who helped me to walk again. So I should. It was me who put you in the wheelchair. No, it wasn't. You're too nice, Owen, and I'm not nice enough. No. Look, it's no use in pretending. There's loads of girls knocking about who are much nicer than me. I don't want any other nice girls. I don't want any other girl. It's a case of having to. No, it isn't, Sammy. Look, Owen, I never wanted to hear you. Honest, I never. What are you talking about? You've never hurt me. Yeah, I have. And I'll hate you a lot more if we carry on seeing each other. Do you mean um, you want to finish with me then, yeah? Is it because of him on that motorbike? Oh, I hardly know him. He fancies you too. It's not him. We're too young, that's all. I mean, we're acting like an old married couple. I stopped enjoying it ages ago. I still love you, you know. I won't. Look, I know I might have been dead clumsy and. Well, I might have nagged you a bit much about the ale, but it's only because I care and because I love you. I don't know what to say. It's nothing else to say. I owe you an fell an apology. Oh, no. Forget it. No, I've got a pain for the door. No, you haven't. I have. Look, he thinks it was a burglar. The whole close thinks it was a burglar. I even think it was a burglar now. They've even started up a neighbourhood watch scheme because of it. I'm terrified they're going to award me compensation for this deep trauma I've been through. Look, your alpha is unemployed. Buy him something with that. Don't. I will please don't be too nice about it. Do you want me to kick the door in again? So, um, is that it then? I don't care what you say. I still love you, and I always will. Yes. Travellers' checks. Yes. 2,000 drachmas and cash. That's it then. We're done. What time is it, Jimmy? Uh, quarter six. Is it this cold you're waiting on? Might be. Hey. Still time to invite me, you know, kid. Jimmy, you're joking, aren't you? Why? Well, Welsh you all for the 18 to 30 limit, aren't Go you? Go away, and how old do you, eh? I'm 31. Yeah, blown it up. Yeah, but who's to know I'm not 29? Ah, You're not coming with us. I am. To the airport. The kettle on someone. Rose, you've only got one pint of milk. There's five of us. One pint will make five cups. I think what she's trying to say is the night is yet young. And before long, we're all going to be having more than one cup of tea each before Betty. Hello? Yeah? Oh, good. What time? Cash? Right. All right, then. Thanks a lot. See ya. What time did you say you was going to the airport? One o'clock. Right, I'll definitely run you, then. You seem very keen to do this. Well, I'm that type of fella, aren't I? And anyway, I've got to go and see someone there. At one o'clock on Monday? It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it just? Ta -da -da. He's up to something.
Hello. What are you doing here? I'm just doing a bit of washing, like, you know. Well, hang on. What are you doing here? If you don't get a move on, you won't get the flight at all. We're here, are we? Anyway, thanks for the lift in there. Look, it's no problem. Come out this way. Are you going to get off somewhere? Yeah, no, no way. Listen, when you get over there, make sure you go to the casino. It's dead sound. Yeah, well, that sounds more our style than stupid little house parties. Hey, and listen, when she goes in the casino, make sure she doesn't ask for vinegar with the chips. Oh, very funny. Hey, you did have the tickets, didn't you? Oh, you haven't. <sighs> Where are you? Hey, you can get off mine, then we don't have to carry them. Hey, no, you're all right. I'll see you through to the branches. How much stuff have you got in here, eh? Well, we've got to be ready for anything, haven't we? Hey, I think we're going, you know. Hey, you won't be if you don't hurry up, come at. What's he doing here? If you miss this plane, I'll kill you. Why? Well, right, don't get your knickers in a twist. This is a final call for the two remaining passengers on flight AE. Right, come on. Let's do me Taste of that sherry. Yeah. Well, it's hard to know what to give people to drink at uh, that time in the morning. The uh, manager of the hotel said that's what they normally provided for morning funerals. Well, it's okay, like it's uh, just not my drink. Mind you, suppose you've got to give people something, haven't you? Did you manage to get anything to eat? Couldn't face it. Me neither. Vicar was nice, wasn't he? What he said and everything. Yeah, you seem to know her really well. Well, she was a regular there. She's a bit disappointed when we didn't get married at St. Thomas. Yeah, well. Look, um, if you didn't get anything, if you're hungry, I... It's OK. Well, I've got time. I don't have to pick Daniel up until about tea time. Actually, I was wondering... Uh, although, if you'd rather, I... Oh, go on. Well, I could have made arrangements to pick him up earlier, but uh, Maureen takes him to the park on Mondays. He likes feeding the ducks. Yeah. But he's not eating the bread himself. Yeah. And it's just it would be easier if I could get a cab straight to Maureen's and pick him up, you know, instead of going back to Jenny's and then, you know. That's OK. I mean, you stay here as long as you want. Until you've got to go and get him. Well, I've got my things to pack up anyway. Okay. Do you want me to make the bed or just leave it? No, leave it. It's only this bed. I'll move back into my room tonight. Well, I'll change it for you. And then I can uh, bung a washing for you if you like. It's okay. Well, it doesn't seem fair, you know, leaving you with a pile of dirty washing. It's all right, honest, darling. Well, if you want to. Yeah, well, be something to do. Right, well, I'll... Uh... There was a lot there, wasn't he? Yeah. I was glad about that. should have been pleased. Yeah, it was a good turnout. It's one of the things you think about when you're at a funeral. I was thinking about how many people were going to turn up at mine. Or mine. Right, well, uh, I suppose i better get that bed sorted out and... And I better start getting mine and Danny's things together. Yeah. Right. Oh, why are you in the bed? It's not up for a wait. Oh, I know it's going to be brilliant, isn't it? An advance on excellent um, sound. It gives me passport. I feel dead tuned. It's just not as bad as mine. It is, honestly. You should see the state of it. Ta. Ta da. Ta da, Hey, were well, the girls were just going as I came? Yeah, well. Sorry, I missed it. Like I said, you know, I just uh, wanted to say happy holes, you know, you know. That's why I popped round. You know. I thought you were staying at Tomo's anyway. I am. Oh. 
Right. Oh, just pop back to uh, run a few smalls through then, did you? Machine at Tom Moses and washing right. That's all. Ah, well. Uh, gotta have your essentials properly washed in there, haven't you? Eh? <laughs> right then, uh, you're not out there then today. You know, uh, keeping the streets clean for us honest citizens of Gotham City and that like. Uh, Nights. Oh, right. Well, shouldn't you be having bobos then? You know, instead of, uh, you know. Yeah, well, I only start nights tonight, so I slept last night because yesterday I was on days, you see. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Cleared as custard, constable. Doing your own work and all, eh? This, that, uh, community thing in the joke you wanted to get on? Yeah, community liaison. Oh, right, yeah. Hey, bet you'd be dead good at that. You know, uh, with your domestic skills and that, like, bet you'd be dead good at teaching little old ladies out to knit their own burglar bars, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, there's a bit more to it than that. You get your own area to look after. You know, like, businesses and schools. It's not just all out to set up neighbourhood watches, like. Mm, fascinating. This is just the stuff they hand out to the public, you know. Thought it might be worth me while having a look through it. Do you know, I reckon you must be a throwback or something. You what? Well, when me and your dad were your age, we used to read things you had to hide under the bed. I mean, look at this, look. Yeah, well, I'm not looking to damage my eyesight, am I? I'm looking to do myself a bit of good. Well, I... Better paid, then, is it this, uh, community, uh, you know, thing is... Liaison. Liaison. Yeah, well, it's better ours, anyway. Right. Hey, um... I'm not in your way or anything, am I? No way. Right, good. Nice one. Part time now, is it, Dad? I've been and come back once. Unexpected run on bog rolls. Anyway, what are you doing back this early? Are you skiving again or what? No, I've got three study periods. Like I said, skiving again. But hey, since how you're here, the fairies have left us a bit of something special in the night again. You can give us a lift with it round the back. Well, nobody's gonna nick it, are they? Seeing as somebody went to a lot of trouble in putting it there in the first place. One man's rubbish is another man's salvage, Michael. You know, I bet you could hear a 5p drop from 100 yards. Why don't you take the salvage off of here? Oh, I, oh, I. And how would you feel like if you came out and you found that some poor little innocent kid had crawled in here for a laugh and... But OK, OK, don't worry, don't worry. If you can live with your conscience, that's fair enough. Don't be bothered. I'll do it on my own. You've well, got all that skiving no. to do, haven't you? Well, even if we take it round the back, it's not going to be safe, is it? Not unless we take the door off. Yeah, so? So then it won't even be worth the 15p you think you might get for it. 15p? Is that all the thanks I get for being public-spirited? Oh, all right, then. Ah, thanks a lot, son. I'll rest a lot easier with this out of arm's way, you know. And you never know. Even with the door off, it might fetch a few bob in this crappy. You having a cup, kid? Yeah, go on. Seeing as you're making yourself one. Well, I thought I might as well, seeing as Tracy had left the milk, eh? Ah, oh, there, you would have thought you would have cleared this lot out, wouldn't you? It's only going to go mouldy in there. Hey, tell you what. Take it round to Tomo's with you when you go. No, it's not worth it. Tell you what. You take it round to Cathy's. Better idea. Why don't I rustle us up a little bit of dinner? What you say, eh? No, but I'm only waiting for me washing. Nah. Haven't you got anything better to do? Me? No, I'm just keeping myself occupied, you know. Hey, hi. Cheese on toast, do you? And tell you what, I'll bung on a few tomatoes. Make a nice little Welsh rare before you. How's that get you, eh? Hey? Yeah, sure. Make yourself at home. Cheers. You up to something, Jim? Me? Of course not. <laughs> Yeah, I'll kiss that. Oh, that's better, sir. Uh... I suppose we could pretend we got it from the Museum of Contemporary Art in New York. You can if you like, son. I'll settle for it being from the Contemporary Art of making a few bob. Yeah, but that's all it is, a few bob, isn't it? Mount up, though. Mount up. Not even mount up to bricks and mortar one of these days. What do you mean? A proper shop. I don't want to be stuck to that sprout mobile the rest of my life, do I? No, oh, what's the odds? You're still going to be tied down to something, aren't you? Ah, oh, but you can take pride in a proper shop. It's your own business. Nobody telling you what to do. Yeah, except the health inspector, the vat man, the tax man. It's still better than being a wage slave, I'm telling you. Which is all I'd have finished up at the end of my days if they hadn't made me redundant. Yeah, well, I don't want anybody or anything going and making. Not many of us do, son. Then again, not many of us find other ways of stock in the fridge. And you'll have a better chance at it than I did with all the qualifications you'll have. Well, a couple of A-levels. Hey, don't knock it, Michael. Once you put that spot of bother behind you, what I mean is, once you put that bother behind you, and you get stuck into your studying and that, 
I mean, not many people can go on and achieve something after that, can they? Yeah, like I said, all it was was a couple of A-levels. And like I said, you wouldn't be knocking if you'd been tipped out like I was at 15 with a couple of stripes on your bum and a wobbly letter rack. Eh? Hey? Made it in woodwork. The only joke you have to be good with your hands. You'll have to learn how to use your brains. Qualifications, Michael, that's what you need. Qualifications. Be your passport to places I never got the chance to see. You see if I'm not right. She liked buying him things, didn't she? Do you think... Do you think he'll remember a Terry? No, I don't suppose he will. I'd have liked him to have known her. She got to know him, didn't she? She had a lot of fun with him. Yeah. And he might... Well, he might remember being loved by her. Sometimes long after people have gone, you can still remember the feeling. I was surprised Uncle Trevor turned up. They only ever saw each other about twice a year, and they only ever got on for about five minutes at a time. And he looked really upset, didn't you think? Yeah, he seemed to be. He was probably feeling guilty. And as you say, they never did it off, did they? So he was probably wishing he'd said certain things to her, and well, he never got the chance, did he? And now it's too late. Mm. Well, I suppose I ought to be thinking of ringing for a taxi. Always seems a silly thing to say to a cab driver. Mick's not back till after six. Better phone and give you competition affair, then. No way. Uh, I'll do it, eh? Get you somebody who can drive, eh? Thanks. It's 33 to 1. Third, Justin Koo, 10 to 1. Oh, well. I had nothing to put on it in the first place, did I? You took your time, didn't you, kid? Something going on between you and Tomo I should know about this today, eh? Just a joke, constable, just a joke, that's all. Then made it a crime yet, have they, eh? It's just that you seem to be, you know, in a bit of a rush earlier on to get off, didn't you? Yeah, well, I thought I might as well have a bath here. You know, there's not always hot water that Tomo's like. All oh, right. Right, then. Might as well be off, then, mightn't we? Listen, kid. Been thinking. You know, with you staying round at Tomo's, right? And with Tracy being away on holiday. Well, there's not going to be anyone here, is there? Well, I'll make sure everything's locked up, Jim. Oh, it's all very well saying that, but it doesn't say that in your leaflet thing of me jigs, does it, eh? I mean, there's all sorts of giveaways that a house is empty, you know. I mean, no milk, no lights, all those sorts of things. Well, I can always nip back. Save your having to, though, if I'm here, won't it, eh? Yeah, but the thing is. Oh, probably be for you anyway. Only the thing is, it's not. I'm not here, OK? Uh. Hello? Yeah. Oh, all right, Samuel. Yeah, well, I was on me way, but... Yeah, 
OK, sound, yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you there, then. All right, cheers. Might as well have a quick hour in the gym, eh, while I can. Yeah, might as well. So, where uh, shall I do that, then? Hang on and, you know, um, look after the place, like? Yeah, but no funny business, eh, Jim? No, 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 no. Hang on! Listen, it's Cathy. I'm mm. not here, right? Much obliged. Jimmy! You're dead, you! You're no mark! I hope you're making your will in there, Corkill! Yeah, well, you're not gonna get away from me that easy! You wait till I get hold of you! Jimmy, do you hear me? Domestic. Hey, Sue. Uh, I hope you're making your will in there, Corkill. He said you all right? Yeah. Well, you know. It'll be five minutes. Terry, I... Listen, Terry, I... I, uh, just want to say thanks. I know some of what you did was for my mum's sake, for old time's sake. Well, we got on, didn't we, me and your mum? Yeah, I know. And I know some of what you did was for Daniel's sake, you know, so he wouldn't be upset about me being upset. But uh, if none of it was for me, I just want you to know that I couldn't have got through it without you. I just did what I'd do for anybody. I'd better get these things packed away, then. Better than I thought. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I'm uh, Neighbourhood Watch. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Corkill. Uh, chairman of uh, Neighbourhood Watch Committee, you know. A uh, uh, fence check. Just doing a check yeah. on the fences, you know. Uh, I've just been saying to my nephew, Constable Corkill, uh, these fences, you know, they're not as hard to climb as you think. They're not. I mean, kids, kids, to be over those. Dead easy, no sweat. They would. Yeah, but they're not making them like they used to do, though, are they? What's our fences? Oh, but they can't get the rainforests, can they? No, no, I meant the kids. Most oh. of them wouldn't have the stamina for that. Stamina? Stamina, eh? Listen, I'll tell you something. I bet we could run faster than our day, you know. Run faster, eh? Don't make me laugh. They don't even know what I mean. I don't know where I'd run these days. You know, when I was a kid, there was only one who could run faster than me in our street. Oh, right, yeah. Who was that, then? Me dad. Your dad? No, it's been three bads, like. Three? Three of us, I know. Mind you, it was, uh, it was my mum who always caught up with us, you know what I mean? Yeah. I lost mine when I was young. You know, my old fella, he brought three of us up, all on his own life, and never missed a day's coal bagger. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, hard times then, was oh. it? I don't know the meaning of the word these days. Not like in your day, eh, Dad? I bet he was only 364 days in a year. Uh, it wasn't the um, child labour then as well. Hey, we weren't classed as children <laughs> by your age. At that stage, we were known as men. Men, yeah. Hey. You're not far wrong there, um... Ron. Ron. So, uh, Jimmy, yeah. uh, neighbour had watched them. I didn't know Jimmy! the what. <laughs> Is, uh, that the wife then? Well, you know, same sort of thing, like. <laughs> oh, I do, I do, yeah. Hey, Dad, see that woman there? Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, uh, since I've had the pleasure of meeting your missus, uh, would you like to step inside and say hello to mine? <gasps> Not without you, Drow. Uh, nah, 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 hey, there's Jane always Omar. time, isn't there? Always time to say hello. Do you know what I mean? Be my guest, James. What, what's going on? Life, son, just life. It's not every man that can handle women, you know. What the way? You can handle me, Mum. Speaking about you, Mum, I expect she's going to make a cup of tea for our guests. I suppose you'd like one yourself. Yeah, sand. 
In that case, you better finish getting them sacks in then, hadn't you? Sue still getting off the camp. Yeah, that was Sue. I'll get you, Corkill! Sooner or later, I'll get you! You do realise we're going to have to put up with this for two whole weeks, don't you? It's going to be hell. <laughs> so do you think you're going to be able to stand it all or what, Ben? I'll just have to try, won't I? Because if you're homesick, you know, I could always give Anthony a ring to see if he wants us to nip back and do a late perm or something. And he'd probably say, yeah, no, and he'd know, yeah. You're making miss in them, though. Oh, I am. So I'll give him a ring. Yeah, I'll give him a ring. I'll give him Oh, this looks great, doesn't it? Tell us the other day. Tell us what? That's the way he tells them, isn't it? <laughs> Inside the homes of some more celebrities next, but can you guess who? We go through the keyhole. 